Every four years, the ball sets out from London, England, where in 1864 the first game of FA Rules football was played. The ball heads for the opening ceremony of the World Cup. This is the spirit of football, football's equivalent of the Olympic torch. The ball is an ambassador for the beautiful game. Its mission throughout history has been to spread tolerance and fair play. It will beat the odds in pursuit of that dream. What a strike of good fortune. Oh, thank you very much. We've made it to Calais. Here we go, we're on to eat. We're going back in time. This is the Christmas truce game. It was on that first Christmas of the First World War in 1914 that the British and German soldiers came out of their trenches, put down their guns and played a game of football. The following day, the guns started firing again. I can't believe it we're in the place where football started in Germany. Let's kick it off! Oh, oh, not so fast, Phil. I don't think it was started with a kick. There was a teacher here in the school called Konrad Koch in 1874 and he brought the football soccer rules to Germany. He was the first one who wrote them down and he organized the first game and there was another guy called I guess, August who threw the ball into the game. The first game in Germany didn't start with a kick, it started with a throw-in. The first time Germany hosted the World Cup was in 1974. But back then, it was West Germany and the world was in the grip of the Cold War. This time, it's a unified Germany that's playing host. The ball heads to Munich, where a Mexican fan greets it with a Germany shirt and an act of goodwill to the hosts. The ball has arrived. At the opening ceremony of the World Cup in 2006. Hundreds have signed the ball on its 500 mile journey from England. Thousands will sign it in 2010 on the 8,000 miles to South Africa. You can follow the ball's journey at spiritoffootball.com.